Shadow Princess is Shadow Queen and Mario's daughter. Well, supposed to be Peach and Mario's daughter. But Peach was pregnant when she was possessed by Shadow Queen. And Shadow Queen ended up conceiving Shadow Princess after being defeated by Mario. And was left in the chest that left inside the chest in the Palace of Shadows. And she was found by Vivian, the Siren, Shadow Siren, and Vivian took her as her sister, and they both did their best to make sure that Shadow Queen could never come back and destroy stuff. Blossom is the daughter of Luigi and Daisy. She's the, well, the oldest daughter of Luigi and Daisy. She's basically doesn't have a story yet, but I'll get to hers later. Zelaya is one of the most interesting to me because she could be saw as a villain and a good person but basically at first she was disguised like she was she's Zelda's and Link's youngest daughter but when she grew older she ran away because she didn't like the way that they were running the kingdom so she turned into her alternative form Mystique just kind of like she but she turned into Mystique and went to other dimensions and stole like valuable materials and came like to sell to so she can have money to give to the poor people of Hyrule that were poor. So yeah, she's kind of good and bad. Angeline is one of Tiara's daughters. Tiara from Super Smash Sisters. Oh wait, Tiara's in all of Super Smash Sisters. But yeah, she's her daughter. And but the thing about Angeline is that she has struggles and controlling her powers. So it's really hard for her to like. It's like she is. Like, her power can control her if she is angry. And the girl under her is Sinclara. I'll just get to her now. The, Angeline and Sinclara is the same person. But Angeline is herself when she can control her powers. And Sinclara is Angeline after being corrupted by her powers. So, it's really kind of interesting. Sterla is Tiara's daughter from the future. She's kind of like a ninja spy. And like, if you ever played Super Smash Sisters, you should already be familiar with her. Because she was in like every single one since the first one. But yeah. This is Heart. This is Pitt's sister. Well, her his younger sister. Uh, I don't really know her story yet because I haven't played any of the Pit the up uh, Icarus Kid games. Sorry for the stuttering, but yeah. Well, everybody already knows who Bowser is. This is Princess Cherry. She is Mario and Peach's youngest daughter. And usually she doesn't look like that. She's usually like more tomboy-ish looking. But in this game I decided to give her like a more of an army princess design. I mean like a warrior princess design. Because like it fits her a lot. And I really like it. But as her story, she mainly get kidnapped by Bowser Jr. 
So it's basically like how Peach gets kidnapped by Bowser, but for Cherry, she likes getting kidnapped because she hates being in her castle. To be honest, she don't. She doesn't really like being a princess anyway. Here's everybody's favorite, Princess Romara. She, well, you can already tell, but she's Princess Rosalina and Mario's youngest daughter. And she's like, unlike Rosanda, she's like really polite and she, she's really like calm and nice. And that Luma, or Lumo, is her friend that she met as a when she was taking care of the Lumas, but he was the only one that couldn't turn it like form into a galaxy. So she kept him to, like safe as her like companion or something. Vivian from Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. The reason she's in the human form is because I added, like, a story to tell that, like, since she was a shadow siren in Paper Mario, I wanted to add, like, since she was evil as a shadow siren, she was purple, but once she became good and started doing good deeds and stuff, like, she became a human, or she was not as Germish looking. Korra was in the first Super Smash Sisters generations, so you should be familiar with her moveset and stuff. But her story takes place, her and Sterla, the girl right here, are enemies. Because she thinks that, like when she was younger, her she's like rich, she was rich, and, like, her father had, like, a lot of money, and when she saw him get killed by one of these spies, one of these ninjas, but she didn't know who it was, but she saw that they were wearing pink and automatically assumed that it was Sterla, when really, it was Travolta right there. So yeah, she hates Sterla, even though she doesn't know that Sterla didn't kill her dad. Oh, and also, she used, that stick that she uses is a rod that her dad gave her before he died. Linkara is a warrior princess. She is Link and Zelda's oldest daughter. And... Basically, her and all her role is is to find Princess Zelaya. But anyway, they always end up fighting because Zelaya doesn't want to come back to the castle because she doesn't like how they rule the kingdom. And yeah, I already told you about Sandra. Caitlin, this is my last one for right now. But Caitlin is. Sterla's best friend. Be they became friends when Caitlyn's kingdom, a kingdom called Feridus from another dimension, was invaded by Ganondorf. He had took her quad force. It's called a quad force. It's like a tri force, but it's the Feridusian version. And she had came to Hyrule through a portal he had went through she followed him through a portal and it led her to Hyrule Castle Town and she found Sterla and Sterla helped her get it back and after that she stayed in Hyrule and became friends with Sterla and yeah so I hope you enjoyed it comment subscribe for the part two and I'll be back with more characters soon